What's up guys, welcome back to another video, I hope you're all doing well today. Now I was doing some digging through uh, the MX Bikes forums and the MX Bikes Mods website, just looking for something that was going to catch my eye, and I got all the way back to like some of the very first uploads on the MX Bikes Mods website, this is going back to like early 2018-ish, um, and I can see that uh, I've come across a 3D scan track. Now. Just on first impressions, loading this up, obviously I, I've done a lap or two before making this video. Um, look at the, the detail, is actually insane. Like, look at what I'm looking at right now, look how detailed that is. Like, I, I, I done a few, uh, I didn't, didn't make, sorry, but I played a few scan tracks back on, in my MX Simulator days. And they are honestly incredible. Like, there's no other word to describe if you've never played any, um, then obviously the link for this track will be in the description just download it don't even hesitate it is absolutely incredible um i made a video a while back about uh, the most realistic track in mx bikes scratch that i found it it's this one um this track was it wasn't made by asdrill it, well, it, it half made he uh he got the uh, the height map and the scan from the uh the sketchfab website um but uh, asdrill we imported it into the game fixed it up a bit made the ruts and stuff um smoothed out any of the issues that you get with the uh, like scan tracks like weird uh, like really weird rough, rough terrain that shouldn't be there um, like trees uh, elevation off the track and things like that and he's, uh, he's cleaned it all up for us and we've put it in game the track itself um, I'm not gonna even try and pronounce it um, because I will completely uh, completely butcher it which I apologize for um, but the track is in Slovenia um, looking at it it looks like my sort of track in real life, one that I'd really enjoy. You know, it looks slightly hard pack. Um, no, like, absolutely insane jumps, just your, your casual tabletops. You've got your, your corners that haven't got insane ruts, just that little bit there. Um, some of you long-time viewers of the channel know that uh, hard pack is, uh, is my sort of track. It's what I grew up with. It's what I really uh, enjoy riding. Uh, I'm a much more, like, patient rider when it comes to getting on the throttle and things like that. I like being very precise as opposed to uh, sand and such where you just uh, you hang out everywhere. Um, I've tried doing, I've tried my fair share of sand tracks throughout the years and I just, I cannot get my head around just trying to be, be that super loose on the bike. I, I like my, uh, I like my precision. I've uh, never been one to uh, go nuts on the throttle, or always try and uh, roll it on gently everywhere. Um, but this is, this might be my new favourite track and I don't, I don't say that lightly. Um, it only might come second to the, uh, the Krakenberg uh, track, everyone knows that I love that. Uh, but this is, uh, this is well, well up there. Uh, I was actually pretty shocked when I loaded this up just because of how good it looked. I didn't expect it to be this good. Um, I, I think Asriel said it was something like a 2k or so texture that got put into the game, uh, which is which is pretty incredible for MX Bikes to be fair. I mean, um, he is a very he's a very big name in the community. He sounds like he was. Uh, you know, but a lot of the re a lot of the things that we have nowadays is because of Asriel uh, and what he done for the game uh, in the in its early years. So. I can only thank him for that. Did I? I went the wrong way last time. <laughs> I went straight down the hill. I think I was meant to turn left here. That's... Oh no, no, I did go here. I did go here. Never mind. Talking out my ass. Ignore me. Um, but I don't know what to say. Like, so the tracks that come out nowadays are, are impressive, but this is just something else. I honestly believe uh, this is my just on honest opinion. I think that scan tracks are the future of mobile games now. Obviously the technology that you need to be able to scan a track, not everybody can do. <laughs> Obviously you need drones, you need... I, I, I'm not the most techie person in the world, but it, it sounds like it's not cheap in the slightest to do. And not to mention the fact that you need a completely empty, um, but already ridden on racetrack to, to get the, the track's uh, terrain, so to speak, as I go flying off the map, said help. Uh, so a good example is, so here, this this dark bit, this, this rut that Asriel has built up here, this was, I imagine this was originally flat um, when he imported it into the game, but you can see this is where the rut would have been in real life, how the sun's reflecting on it, and he has, he has built the rut up himself in game. And if I, if I just sit here, just look across in distance, when you look at things like super super close up, like look at my front wheel, you see obviously it's a bit blurry, but if you look off into the distance and ignore that, that near ground, how realistic does that look? That is actually incredible. Um, I might have to look at a YouTube video or a GoPro of this track just to see how it compares because like, I think it's it's amazing. See, I've never been to the real track, but you, you get an idea of what tracks look like. <laughs> I mean, I've been riding bikes long enough to uh, 
to know what, what forms on certain tracks and it's it's just insane. I feel like I'm going to be spending this whole video just singing the track's praises but I generally cannot find anything wrong with this at all. Um, the only thing that might put some people off uh, is the scaling of the track. Obviously it's, it's bang on one to one, the realism side of things. Um, obviously in MX bikes that means the uh, it's a bit it's smaller so there's no real need for the bigger bikes. You don't need a 450 around a track like this. So this I'm on a 135 right now. Uh, I think on the uh, the Hayden Deegan, uh, Hayden Deegan English, sorry, getting my tongue twisted, a uh, replica bike right now, the uh, the 125, and it's plenty, uh, there's no jumps I'm struggling to get over at all, no hills I'm struggling with, it's just, it's spot on, so uh, a, a very lucky choice I would say by me on what bikes ride for this video, um, so I'm happy with that, there's, oh, I imagine this corner here is a bit of a, let me spin around, you see from a distance, it looks obviously it's a lot darker than the rest of the track. I guarantee that in real life this is that one corner where all of the rain runs down the hill and just ends up in this one corner and it's uh, the corner that gets the most rutted. Uh, the corner that everybody hates coming to each lap. You've got to try and like paddle your way through it with both your legs. Uh, and then yeah, the rest of the track uh, absolutely absolutely fine. Got the got some ruts on the up faces of the jumps here. See there's uh, astro has been very nice to us and uh, not gone uh, over the top with some super deep horrible ruts that all uh, kick the bike about and make it crash. He's been very, very nice, smoothed out majority of the surface. Uh, you can see my front end twitches a little bit here and there where there's some rough which is really nice. It's that little, uh, it's that perfect little balance. Um, and yeah, like I said, this is, this has got to be my new favorite track. There's, there's no other, other way of describing it. Uh, it looks incredible. Um, obviously there's not a whole lot going on as far as environment goes if you look at the left there it's just like a field of trees but i've never seen what the real life track looks like it could be exactly like that um so i'm not going to comment too much on the environment of this track when you can see just how detailed the ground looks some very uh very tight twisty bits here which uh is very uh, very european obviously you you american guys probably quite rare to get like a two three corners that close together <laughs> Well, yeah, I know a lot of your tracks end up being, uh, being like highways, just uh, hang out as much as possible, but yeah, uh, to me this feels, it, this could well be a track in the UK, like it, it very well could be, I've ridden tracks very very similar to this, um, usually up, uh, up more of the northern side of the UK, um, but yes, this isn't, uh, this isn't a stretch at all from, from what I could, could go and ride. I don't live in Slo uh, Slovenia, so uh, you guys get to enjoy it more. Uh, uh, it's probably a bit of a, sh a rare, uh, not rare, it's probably a bit of a reach, but is there anybody watching this video right now that has ever ridden this track? Uh, I'd be very interested to know so, and if so, um, have you played this track in game? Oh, I'm talking about real life as if you've ridden this track in real life. If you have, have you played it in game, and how does it compare? If you have ridden it but you've not played it in game, then download it. I've got the link in the description, go and do it now. Um, and let me know what you think, because I. I can't imagine with someone like Astral making it that it would be far from perfect. Um, you just uh, you, you get an idea of the uh, sort of creator that people are over past work. And Astral strikes me as a sort of person that is a perfectionist. He wants every done everything done right. Um, I mean, he is the uh, the man that uh, put all of the uh, OEM physics into the game. So like the individual. Uh, OEM bikes, he got all of the uh, the physics for all the data for, put it in game so it feels as realistic as possible and all the bikes feel different. So uh, yeah, I don't know where we'd be without that man, so thank you very much. Um, and I'm probably going to be spending the next hour or so just riding around this track because it's just, it's such an easy track to ride. But it's, you'd think it'd be really hard where it's this tight and twisty, but I don't know what he's done. Uh, but I swear the bike physics are different on this track to anywhere else, it just feels so like smooth and natural to ride. Uh, maybe I'm wondering if it's maybe a thing of where the decal, uh, the track textures are so good. You kind of know what you're riding on, if that makes sense. As as a as a rider myself, so to speak, but I look at parts of these track, uh, parts of this track, and I can see what parts are going to be rougher than the others, um, just from the uh, the dark shadows where the ruts are. He's done. He's just done a very good job of going in and touching it all up after the fact. And um, I I know it's a it's a bit of an ask, but I hope we can get more of these in the future. Cause, as I said before, I think this is this is the future for motocross games. I I don't expect it will be too long or too many years before uh, uh, the big companies like Milestone start doing this. If they have done already, I, I have no idea what their track making process is like, but they seem to get things pretty close to the uh, pretty close to replica. Um, but yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if in the future all of the games just started scanning tracks because. I mean, for a, for a big company, surely it, it can't be that bad to uh, just hire someone 
um, for like a day or two at a time to go out to different tracks and, uh, and scan it, go over it with a drone and then uh, pull it into their games. Uh, but what do I know? I'm not a game designer, I'm not a track designer, I have I have no idea. I've seen some of the uh, the questions that get asked in the MX Bikes Discord about making tracks and all. If, I, I wouldn't even want to go near a track or even try and work on a track. I mean, I made tracks on MX Simulator back in the day, but that was all uh, that was all fairly straightforward. Um, just downloaded the base track, edited it a bit in, in the actual game itself, and uh, you know, that's, that's job done. <laughs> Easy enough. Um, but yeah, MX Bike seems to be a whole other ballpark, so I have the utmost respect for these track creators, um, and hopefully we can see some more of this in the future. I know it's, it probably won't happen anytime soon, um, but... We can, we can wish. We'll, I'll add it to the Christmas list, how about that? Um, but that, that'll do it for me today. I just wanted to show you this track. I think it is absolutely incredible. Uh, and as I would highly recommend you go and play it. Uh, I, I feel like there's probably a fair few of you uh, on this channel that haven't had the game that long, similar to myself, of course. Um, had no idea this track even existed. And come to think about it, I do. I feel like I might have watched a, uh, a CBL uh, video back in the day before I even had MX bikes uh, on a 3D scan track and it completely slipped my memory and I'm pretty sure this was the uh, this was the track he was on. Um, so yeah, overall, incredible track. 100% uh, in my top 5, might even be my new favourite track, who knows. Um, but that'll do it for me. Please leave a like if you did enjoy this video. It really, really helps the channel grow overall um, and helps get the videos out to more people that wouldn't have seen it otherwise. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I uh, really, really appreciate the support recently and the continued growth is just really, really appreciated and I can't thank you all enough. And whatever it is that you're doing for the rest of the day, I hope you have a lovely day. Until I catch you guys in the next video, peace. Got bad shit all up in my mind right now Fuck it, give me a minute and I'ma let it all out I don't give a shit about an opinion Be another dimension when I wake up, wake up, wake up oh, Bitch, it's time to fill the cup Got no fucking love I feel so stuck on my luck Get fucked